This one definitely has a motor. This one, it's moving. On the left side. On the left side. Oh, there's, yeah, 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 I see them. Oh, yeah, there we go. I think that's the black boat. Additional to the economical crisis, now we have to face in Greece the refugee crisis. In the last year, over 500,000 refugees arrived on the shores of the Greek island of Lesbos. A majority of these refugees seek international protection as they flee war, violence and persecution in their countries of origin. We come from Syria because of the bombs and, uh, and guns. All day in Afghanistan explosions. Bashar, Jabhat Nasra, Daesh, Jesh al Everyone takes bombs on us. We don't know who is it. It just happens, yes. All of us die, kill, persecute. So we run from Syria to Turkey, from Turkey to the Turkey. Right now, we have an average arrival of 2,000 people per day. The media has been quick to focus on the Syrian refugee crisis, but when we actually look at the nationalities that are coming off of the Mediterranean Sea onto this island, we find over 40% that are not from Syria. They come from Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran, Pakistan, Somalia, Morocco. Pakistan. Pakistan. Afghanistan. Iraq. Iraq. So, just behind me, you can see the lights of Turkey. This is just about 10 kilometers from these northern shores of the islands of Lesbos. This is where many of the refugees will get in a small rubber inflatable boat to make this crossing. Crossing the Mediterranean Sea is definitely one of the more difficult and risky parts of the refugees' journey. Smugglers load people into the rubber boats on the shores of Turkey and send them out to sea without an experienced driver behind the motor. The boat maybe uh, broke. Yeah. The boat broke yes. because the engine fire. Uh. Yes, yes. We have two this. We have a really difficult situation here uh, when the people arriving at the shore. They don't really know where they're arriving a lot of times. They are not informed. A lot of times they are forced to go into the boats during rough sea. We've found out that people are also crossing under the cover of darkness. It's not just during the daytime that these boats arrive. Due to the very dangerous nature of the shores here with the rocks and the surf, uh, there have been locals as well as members of different NGOs that will come to this location, keep a watch out. The people have to walk probably two hours to, to, uh, to go up to the street, to the actual street where the bus can come. After they arrive at the shore, they have the welcome from the, from the volunteers that are helping us here. Okay, welcome. Hello. This is my friend Justin. Yes. Thank you, thank you for you, because you helped me and helped my brother. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, you okay. Assignment center, that's how we call it, or a bus stop, where the people have the possibility to walk to. It depends on which spot at the, at the shore they're arriving. They have the possibility to go there, to have some um, dry clothes, they get some food sometimes. It depends on the, the time of the day when they're arriving. Uh, they can use bathrooms. Uh, where they can get a little bit more uh, rest before the bus are coming. These buses bring refugees to two different camps. We have the one camp in Karatepe, which is just for the Syrian citizen, and the other camp is actually really sad, it's for all the rest. Everyone has hopes and dreams for a better future and a better life go to a safe space, okay, only this important, not nothing. I love to study. They come to you because of children's future. I'm searching for the life. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>
We have a uh, registration center, which is the local police in cooperation with the uh, Coast Guard has to uh, prepare the papers. After this, the refugees are allowed to buy a, a ticket for the ferry boat so they can leave to Athens. We have to face the cold weather who's coming in the next days, the next weeks and during the whole winter time. The winter is very windy, especially on this island, and will be very wet. The sea is very rough, the boats are still coming in. The difficulty that we have uh, here to face is that there may be less amount of people that will come because of the rough sea, will have much, much bigger needs.